You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by SiouxFallsJobFair.com. New year, new career. Join us at the Sioux Falls Job Fair. All the details at SiouxFallsJobFair.com. Dan, what you got, man? Hey, happy Friday, Smalls. Everything happy okay, Friday. Smalls? Yeah, yeah good boy. That's just... <laughs> yeah, it's go great. team, go it's team, good. go. Fell flat in a hurry. <laughs> nice. I like this guy. Our little celebrity birthday list today. It's, it's a solid one. It's a good one. I think you'll be pretty happy with it. Uh, you loved him in Sleepless in Seattle. You loved him in Lake Placid, Independence Day. Bill Pullman is 68 oh, yeah. today. Oh, I, I do. love Bill Pullman. But, but his greatest work and how this escaped the Academy Awards is beyond me. The 1987 Bill Pullman classic, Spaceballs. Oh, yeah. Love Spaceballs. Yeah, that was a great movie. Loved it's, him in While You Were Sleeping. Just something about a Winnebago in space. You know? <laughs> Good stuff. That's what they should have called it, Winnebago in space. Uh, started digging this guy 100 years ago in Second City TV. And, of course, most recently, uh, Schitt's Creek. Eugene oh, Levy. Yeah, yeah, I like him too. Yeah. Eugene. Jano, he's 75 today. Yeah, he's a neat dude. And local hero makes his home in Sioux Falls these days. Professional wrestler Nick Dinsmore. Oh, or yeah. Eugene. Eugene Dinsmore. Okay. It's his birthday today? Dinsmore. It is his birthday. We should uh, we should go see him and like uh, give him, what, how does it say how old he is? Yes. How many spankings do we have to give him? Four to six. <laughs> yeah, you go first, John. I would, he's a good dude. I I met him. I got your back. Actually, I've known his uh, wife for oh goodness gracious a, a long time. Stephanie. We were at a, yeah, at an event where he and I were sat at the same table and we had way too much fun. And I'm sure they were wishing we should have not put those two together. Well, you know, and I don't know if you know this or not, but you do mm-hmm. comedy. Yeah. And. He does stand up comedy too. Does he really? Yes, he does. Holy cow. I didn't ah. we didn't talk about that. You, you can hire him. Nick Eugene Dinsmore to do stand up. I'm gonna visit with him. All right. Well, we're all learning something. We here. are. Let's see. This boy, just even wrapping your head around this, can, especially idea. considering that like the Argus leader, well, that building's for sale now. Yeah. There are newspapers across the country are kind of folding and whatever, whatever. But it was this day in nineteen sixty five. The largest United States newspaper ever. Hits the newsstands, yeah. edition of the New York Times. Yep, I was just going to say New York Times. 946 pages. What? Whoa! For 50 cents, you could have 946 <sighs> pages. Of course, it was 1965, so my guess is probably at least half of it was ads for cigarettes and booze. <laughs> <laughs> Why were there so many? It was, it was just a bunch of ads? See, for this the... is where he asked me questions about well, stuff I couldn't possibly talking. know. <laughs> You keep going, John. What else would you like to know that I don't? <sighs> hey, I'll go back to the other thing. I have an idea for Nick, Nick Eugene Dinsmore. He should do the stand-up SmackDown. Huh? 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 See? No. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. It was 19, uh, <laughs> 1989. This is even. This is kind of unbelievable. The Simpsons premieres on Fox as a full yeah. animated series. I remember that. Episode number one, Simpsons roasting on an open fire. 32 years ago, that yeah. debuted. That's insane. Yeah. What series has those kind of legs? Well, that one does, because yeah. they're still cranking them out. And this is from Random History, just because I kind of like sort of this story. 2018, this day. This is a bad guy. Missouri deer poacher, mm. David Berry Jr., 29 years of age, found guilty of not just poaching a deer or two, literally hundreds of deer over the previous couple of years. Wow. Judge sentenced him, fines him, sentences to a year in the slam, and as part of his sentence, Dave Barry Jr. is ordered to watch Walt Disney's movie Bambi at least once a month. Oh, wow. (laughs) While incarcerated. That's quite the random thing to do. Yeah, and hey, by the way, Stooge, yeah, you're going to have to watch this. I thought that was kind of interesting. So there you go. I know, we know, and we've all learned something here, and let's just move ahead. Going to do that. It's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by SiouxFallsJobFair.com. In the past year, did you find yourself drinking more often? The stress of the last year had that effect on many people. If you're struggling to get back to normal and get the booze out of your daily routine, there is help. Timeforrehab.com would love to help you find the best option 
option for you. There are many different programs. Timeforrehab.com will do our best to match you up with the program that will work best for your needs. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. And now stuff Dan finds it is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Dan, what do you find interesting on this Friday? Uh, so much interesting is just kind of uh, maybe inspirational a little bit. And it's a local story and maybe, you know, it's been on some of the newscasts and whatnot. It was about uh, 20, 21 years ago there was a, a theft right right here in Sioux Falls. Sporty what? goods shop. In fact, Dakota Sports. Oh, okay. We know. I mean, you know, Kurt Hoff, Dakota Lettering, yeah, yeah. whatever that is. Uh, Dad Jerry actually founded uh, Dakota Sports. So anyway... A couple of teenage thugs yeah. rolled into Dakota Sports about 20 years ago, lifted some high-end baseball bats, about 500 bucks worth mm, okay. baseball bats, and just made their way out of there. Uh, they called the police. There was an investigation, but well, you know, nothing really ever came of it, and they just kind of ate the loss. Well, earlier this week, a gentleman in his 30s walked in, asked to speak to an owner. Jerry happened to be there. <laughs> Said, yeah, sure. Uh, what what can I do for you? Said, uh, yeah, about uh, twenty uh, years ago or so, my buddies uh, took some bats. Guy had the bats with him, and handed over five hundred dollars in oh, restitution. Wow. Are you kidding? He said, this has made me feel bad for twenty years. Oh, <laughs> well, that's pretty great. So it is isn't pretty it? cool. And uh, Jerry's like, I yeah, I was shocked. Yeah, said, for sure. He said, I took $250, let him keep $250, told him to give it to the charity of his choice. Nice. So making amends, and this really struck home with me, and I don't know if I've ever shared this story with you or not, but this was actually on the air. I was doing a show in the mid-90s. This stuff came up, and I had carried this with me since I was like 12 years old. Yeah. I was a hockey jock growing up. Yeah. And I had a really bad habit of busting sticks. Oh, yeah. So when sticks were made out of wood. Yeah. yeah. And uh, my parents cut me off. <laughs> no more sticks for you. It sticks back then, depending on what you were going to get, like between eight and twelve bucks, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I was in a Target store with a buddy of mine one afternoon, and the brand new slight curves out of Canada had just come out, and it's like I, I need some of those sticks, and I did. I snagged some. Yeah, it's. Oh. Did I was a kid? It was an impulse thing. How do you get a stick? Smuggle yeah, how do you out? get it out of the store? <laughs> it was a side door. Oh, wow. Target, there was yeah. a side door? Yeah, and we out. We <laughs> That's out, a bad out, idea. Yeah, well, whatever. Anyway, all those years later, it like haunted me forever. I'm like, They're do, poor planning. I was doing a show, you know, another station in town here, and this got brought up. Long story short, I ended up calling. It was a Target store in Minneapolis. Yeah. I called this Target store in Minneapolis, got a hold of the manager and said, hey. <laughs> and I ended up giving him a credit card number. He was just flabbergasted. He's going, yeah. there's no way I even know what those would have cost. And I told right. him, I said, look, take take this much. Yeah. So if it's just called making amends, and it's yeah. never too late yeah. to do that. I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah, it's a good thing. And it's interesting. Pretty much everybody has some kind of guilt on at their brain, yeah. something maybe they did, whatever, whatever. You can. Yeah. Make that right. And and I, I had that one time with a person where he and I were pretty good friends for a while, and then we just kind of quit being friends. And I kept thinking back to what the last thing was that happened, and and I felt bad for my part in that. And for about four years, I would drive by there. Every time I'd drive by, I kind of had this little weird feeling in the pit of my stomach. Yeah, it's a little nudge. And yeah. one day, I finally, it was after a sermon at church where they were talking about this, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to go, and I'm going to say sorry for whatever part I had and the reason we're not pals anymore. And when I walked in, he was shocked, first of all. And I went over and shook his hand. I said, hey, you know what? Uh, I said some things. You said some things. And, uh, and he's like, oh, yeah, cool. And, and we don't hang out still. Uh, but I feel better, and I don't have that weird feeling in the pit of my stomach anymore when I drive by there. Yeah, just doing the right thing. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's hard. Sometimes it's really hard. But yeah. the yeah. View, view is always better from the high it's road. Story. It really is. That's cool that that dude took those baseball bats back. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah, a little, I love little that story. Charity Good and, for him. Uh, you know, so there you go. Do the right thing. It's always the right thing. 
It's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Fair. It's brought to you in part by SiouxFallsJobFair.com. I'm John with a fun comparison. Some puppies are purebred and they cost more. Others are more affordable. And then there are free puppies. Nobody really knows where they come from, but they're free. In the advertising world, it's like that too. There are some super expensive ways to advertise, if you can afford it. And there are some free things you've probably tried, but those dogs rarely work. Radio is kind of like that middle puppy. Affordable, will snuggle with you, and hopefully not pee on the rug. Radio advertising. Super affordable, a great investment, and man best friend. Try it and let BetterResultsAdvertising.com bring your message to life. Time now for your morning coffee break, brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro on the corner of 26th and Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls. Mr. Ferris, what you got for us? Well, you know, we're all big fans of uh, Facebook, uh, Zara Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, yeah, yeah. And as in the course of a month or so back, he's announced that Facebook is switching over to Meta, Meta, some yeah. whatever. Yeah. I, I don't understand this stuff. I know although where you go with this, and it just makes me smile. Although I am a social media... Influence. Yeah, you certainly are. So yeah, Zuckerberg uh, proposed Metaverse. It's the uh, Meta Platforms, Inc., a multinational technology conglomerate, blah, 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 don't care. Anyway, they're pretty serious about it. But here's the thing. There's other copyrighted stuff and other businesses. And there happens to be a little thing called Metabank right here in Sioux Falls. So Mark personally called. I think this is awesome. <laughs> Probably anyway. Uh, the, the Metabank, which actually has financial holdings all over the employee, about a thousand people. Yeah, right. Country. But uh, Mark's gotten him a check for sixty million dollars. Isn't to, that amazing? To stop using using that name. Sixty million dollars. Why yeah. couldn't he have called it the Sunnyverse? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. What's up with that? Come on, Mark. You can do better. <laughs> now, Meta Financial yeah. Group officially became part of the Iowa Bay Central. Bank a year ago, and the Sioux Falls MetaBank locations now display the central bank signage. Mm. So it's not like they're going to have to spend a fortune to rebrand oh. and rename and so all that kind of thing. So they're not even really using it anymore. So, they were going to rebrand it. Anyway. Are, yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Talk about a payday. I know. Ching. <laughs> But, uh, you know, not so fast. Oh, yeah? It's Somehow a- City Hall's going to get at least 80% oh, of Oh, for that. sure. <laughs> it's going to be. Yeah, they yeah. found a couple empty bank bags down in the boiler room, and they got to <laughs> fill those up. So, so Mayor Paul so, will be paying you a visit. So what you're saying is uh, if you're hosting some sort of uh, nonprofit event and you're looking for a sponsor, <laughs> wow. these guys got 60 million beans laying around. That's fantastic. But, uh, What's the name of that new bank again, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Metabank, seriously. From from Facebook, from the matter was sixty million. Sixty million dollars. Wow. That is awesome. Yeah, and I wonder how much uh, else that is going on around. Well, it would be global. Actually, how much? So. Are, how much are they going to pay Midco since they're using their logo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Have you noticed how much that looks like the Midco logo? Yeah, and I don't know if a lot of people understand that, but the first thing through my mind years ago. When T. Denny Sanford made that, uh, wrote that Investment, huge check yeah. to what was Sioux Valley Hospital, yeah. Yeah. I just started doing kind of soft math in my head. It's like, okay, that's great, but what kind of do re mi we talking about with the name change, with yeah. the brand change, yeah. with everything from notepads to yeah. name tags to you name it. Everything, yeah. Yeah, and so yeah, it get, gets a little bit crazy, but it looks like uh, a MetaBank is going to dodge a lot of those bullets. Yeah, sixty million dollars later. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and like I say, at least eighty percent of it going to City Hall. Hey, let's do ten more dog parks. <laughs> <laughs> what better investment than dog parks? But don't fix the roads. Let's do that. <laughs> you guys. Well, listen to me. Just go on over yeah. here like I'm crazy. Every once in a while, <laughs> just pull that Afghan up over there. You're looking. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's always pull we, that F. Can we turn the heat up in here? <laughs> oh man! Yeah, I'm just a year or two away from Velcro fasteners on my sneakers. <laughs> we have we have Dan convinced that we're on the radio right now. He doesn't know that it's just the three of us talking to each other. All right, no. Coming up, we uh, we've got some fun stuff to get to. We'll have some news before you know it. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by the Sioux Falls Job Fair. It's coming up the end of January. If you'd like to have a business there, if you'd like to just come and join us, it's free for people to come in and, and like get a job. 
job. But if you'd like to have a business there and a booth there, reach out at Super Affordable. All the details at SiouxFallsJobFair.com. Many new students sign up for credit cards that are not very good. Have a conversation about how to properly use credit so they don't learn this lesson the hard way. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Want one that offers points? We have those. Want a card to help you build credit? We have those too. BetterCreditCards.com is designed to help you get a better credit card. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine and Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture. And we are going to brighten your day right now with some positive news. I've got a, a really fun guy on the phone with me, William Conway. He's a very funny comedian who I've had a chance to get to know over the last couple of years. Mr. Conway, how are you, sir? I'm doing great, John. How are you doing? I am doing great as well, and I'm excited. You're going to be in Sioux Falls this Sunday doing a, kind of a fun show. You've done several of these where it's called Bosses Goes Boozeless. And it's a show where people can come and enjoy comedy without uh, a bunch of booze around them, which is kind of a neat idea. Yeah, yeah. It's really awesome. Uh, I think that is, uh, we've been doing it, we try and do it about three or four times a year. Uh, obviously, you know, COVID uh, put kind of a uh, monkey wrench and all that kind of stuff. But we are getting back on track with it this time. We got Jerry Irby on the show, two-time Brinkman Award winner. Uh, super happy to have him on the show. Funny, We're funny guy, funny. isn't he? He's he's so oh, funny. Dude, I, and he's hilarious, and he's super awesome dude, too. Yeah. like uh, And he's really awesome to be around, and he's, like, his laid-back style is just, like, it just <laughs> comes out so easy for him. It's yeah. beautiful to watch. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah, Bosses has been doing the show, uh, I think this is like two and a half years or so. It might be closer to three that we've been doing booze shows. Um, but they, we started them on Minnesota and they're continuing them now and this really awesome it's getting bigger every time nice and if people would like to go to this show it's coming up on sunday i'll tell you where you can get tickets here in a bit but what time is the show sunday uh the show will be at eight o'clock uh doors will be at seven shows at eight uh and it's ten dollars at the door or you can get them online uh through the link that you're going to share very very nice and then the host uh tell me a little bit about the host i don't think i've had a chance to meet her yet so Windows. Uh, she just recently moved to Sioux Falls from Minnesota. Uh, she is one of the newest Prairie Madness crew. Uh, so I'm really excited to get her some more exposure in the Sioux Falls scene. I know she's been doing a lot of the mics uh, since she moved to town, uh, but this is going to give people a chance to kind of get more of a highlight to her. And she's very, very funny, very refreshing perspective. Um, and she's always good to watch. And again, the event is coming up on Sunday, and we talked about the host, and we talked about the feature. Now let's talk about the headliner. It's this guy named William Conway. Oh, wait, that's the guy we're talking to. How long have you been performing comedy, William? Uh, so I've been, I've been back at it a little over three years now. Um, I had some experience uh, prior to being uh, incarcerated, um, but then I went to prison for an extended period of time. And once I got out, I got back to living life. And, and then about three years ago, uh, I did an open mic and it has just kind of been, been heating up ever since. And one of the things that I got to say, I've had a chance to get to know you over the last couple of years and it's been wonderful to watch you. Uh, take the right steps in life and do the right things in life and get your life back on track. And I got to tell you, I'll say it right here. Super proud of you, man. Well, thank you, John. I really appreciate it. I definitely didn't do it by myself. Uh, I had a lot of support uh, from family and friends and, uh, you know, people that used to volunteer at the prison. I mean, the amount of people that have been there for me uh, is like, I couldn't even begin a list. Uh, it's definitely not anything I did by myself. But I definitely, you know, I had to make the decision to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and, and again, I'm I'm a, I'm a super excited for you. And, and you and I have had the conversation where you said when you were leaving, they said you got like this huge percentage of chance you're coming back. And you, you said, I'm not coming back. It's not going to happen. And, and uh, you make the decision every day to do the right thing. I think that's awesome. Thanks, man. I, I mean, uh, it's worth it. It's really worth it. The rewards are in the daily living. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, 
Uh, I'm really excited for this show. Uh, it, it really blesses my heart to entertain uh, people that don't necessarily go out for this kind of live entertainment. Yeah. So uh, because of the alcohol presence or whatever, so to be able to provide high quality entertainment uh, in, you know, in an atmosphere that they're not really used to, I, I'm super excited to do that. Again, Bosses Goes Boozeless. It's this Sunday, uh, 8 p.m. show. If you'd like to get a ticket, I've got a, a link to it at SiouxFallsComedy.com. You can click right on there and get your ticket, or you can go there and get the information, and you can just pay right at the door as well if you'd rather do it that way. William, thank you so much for taking the time to chat. Yeah, thanks so, so much for having me, John. I Absolutely. appreciate it. Again, William Conway, he's a super funny comic. He'll be in Sioux Falls this Sunday. All of the details at SiouxFallsComedy.com. Merry Christmas! Oh, you're not ready for that yet. How about Happy Halloween? At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all of the fun holidays throughout the year with funny, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we have a gift idea for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the newsiest news we do from... Award-winning newscaster Dan Ferris. It's local news. <laughs> oh, now news well, that, now. That, uh, light means we're on. Oh yeah, that's what. The, uh, you know, I burn the midnight oil, wear out shoe leather. <laughs> Bang on desk demanding answers. You know, lead was filling the air again last Friday in Sioux oh. Falls. There's another shootout going on. It's like what the Wild West anymore. It's absolutely mm-hmm. crazy. Got an update on that. It was uh, over at 14th and uh, Western. Yeah. That, that was happening. Yeah, somebody got shot too. 39 year old, uh, oh man, bringing his criminal behavior across the border out of Worthington, Minnesota, which uh, they say is the turkey capital of the world. That's not quite true. It's actually barren Wisconsin. Oh, I didn't know that. Homework. Uh, 39-year-old charged earlier this week in connection with that early morning shooting, 14th Street and Western Avenue. Martin Lopez, the perp's name, been charged with three counts of aggravated assault. According to court documents, Lopez accused of shooting 27-year-old guy. He got shot him. Shot him right in the belly. Oh, hmm. that's too bad. That is too bad. <clears throat> According to the residence, 500 block of Western Avenue, according to court documents, Lopez had been at the apartment to pick up personal belongings from his ex-girlfriend. Okay. So you can see there's tension in the air immediately. Already, yep. And he got a little steamed. He got a little cheesed off when he learned there was another man in that apartment. Uh-oh. Ah, gunplay ensued. Police responded to the apartment 7.50 in the morning. That's a little early to be calling on gunshots fired. Man, oh, man. Yeah, really it is. That's insane. Police asked the guy who'd been shot who shot him. The man replied, magic. Oh. Turns out magic is Lopez's nickname. Oh. Okay. Wow. So not only is he shooting people, he's got a totally lame nickname. (laughs) (laughs) Don't yet have an update the condition of the man who was shot, but uh, I'm guessing he would be okay. Do keep in mind, we can say what we want here as a news organization, but in this country, innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> I did see a mug shot, though. And <laughs> magic is going down. <laughs> Why is this a sports? Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, little yeah, sports yeah. brought to you by Bert and the team at Hockey Headquarters, right out there at the Sanford uh, Sports Complex. Everything for hockey, new and used, figure skating too, and over two thousand square feet of great gift items for the fan and hockey player alike. You know, a lot of people wonder, but they never talk about it much. You know, the NFL. Yeah, heard a lot of money flying around the NFL. There's some do re mi going on there. It's a football group, yeah. But what do some of those head coaches make? Yeah, what do oh, they make? They make you, know, you hear about the players. It's like, well, they're getting this much plus bonuses, plus performance pay, and blah, blah, blah. That's a lot of money. Coaches, I just got the top five here in the NFL, and it's kind of interesting. Tied at number five for coaches' pay. Matt Rule for the Packers. Five million dollars. Oh wow! Okay, that's wrong. It's actually eight point five million. That's still a lot of dough. Right, that's Matt even Rome. more. Did I say Packers? Actually, it's Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> Whole different deal. What, what are we? Who wrote this? I want to see my producer. <laughs> yeah. Are you new here? Matt Rule, head coach of the Panthers, eight point five mil. The question okay. is, is he worth it? The answer is no. <laughs> 
least you know something. Sean McVay, head coach of the Rams, $8.5 million. Is he worth it? Yes, he is. At number four, John Harbaugh for the Ravens, $9 million a year. Is he worth it? Depending on who you ask. At number three, Sean Payton. Ladies and gentlemen, your New Orleans Saints, $9.8 million. Is he worth it? Okay. Used to be when he had Drew Brees out on the field. Now, not so much. Number two, Pete Carroll, believe it or not, Seattle Seahawks, $11 million a okay. year. Wow. No. Abs- no. <laughs> no. At number one, take a guess. It should be obvious. Highest paid coach in the NFL. Should be obvious. Saying, it would that, not be that obvious one guy, to The one guy us. that does the, that won all them Super Bowls. Pa- You're right. The, what's it? Bill Canoe- Belichick. Patriot. Your New England Patriots. Patriot. See? $12.5 million a year is Bill's base. Is he worth it? Every, Every single penny. dime. Every penny. And he's a great steward of his money because you know he's not spending anything on, say, haircuts or clothing. <laughs> I've not seen him, so I'm sure that's really funny. None of it. <laughs> Absolutely. Nobody knows what Bill does with that money. <laughs> We got that going for him, which is nice. But it certainly isn't personal care. <laughs> <laughs> From the sunny 93.3 News Desk, I'm Dan Ferris. Hey, if it's news, it's news to me. Thanks for watching. And gosh darn it, good night, everybody. In the past year, did you find yourself drinking more often? The stress of the last year had that effect on many people. If you're struggling to get back to normal and get the booze out of your daily routine, there is help. Timeforrehab.com would love to help you find the best option for you. There are many different programs. Timeforrehab.com will do our best to match you up with the program that will work best for your needs. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Friday, December 17th, 2021. Equities gave up some of their gains on Thursday with the tech-heavy Nasdaq composite leading the way. The Nasdaq index fell more than 2.5% at the low of the day as investors weighed the impact of an accelerated FOMC rate hike timeline on a sector laden with debt. The S&P 500 fell a smaller 1% at the low of the day, while the blue-chip Dow Jones Industrial Average tried to post a small gain. In regards to the FOMC and the timing of interest rates, rate hikes, the Fed did not comment on how long after the taper ends it will wait to raise rates. If the Fed waits until May, like the market is expecting, that will mean 13 months of rising inflation and inflation well above the 2% mark. If the inflation trends don't change and the Fed does wait until May, we expect the first hike to be worth 2 to 3.25 increases. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.